So we're here at the NXP and you have the S32V234. So who are you? I'm uh, Antoine, I'm from NXP. I'm an application engineer dedicated for auto application for self-driving car. So this is an ARM uh, CPU? This is our ARM CPU. We have four A53 in it. So and uh, some other custom uh, optimizations and design for it? So to do the image recognition, you need to add also some hardware um, hardware added to these parts. So we have a SIMD processor called the Apex that allows to split the image in a lot of small parts to do some algorithm in it. And we also have an ISP, image sensor processing, to filter the image and all that. That's visual computing, right? Visual computing. Yes. And what, what, does, what can it do? So here you can see. So it can do, it can do a lot of examples. Um, we can do like lane departure warming, we can do traffic sign recognition. And this demo, for example, is here to track uh, object from one frame to the other, we call that object tracking. So basically it analyzes a frame, several frames together, and it's, uh, it allows to see the, like, the direction of the object, where is it moving, what is the speed of the object that is moving. So for example this pedestrian here is uh, moving to the left with a certain speed, that was the red arrow. Version. Red is fast and green is slow? The, no, red and green would be the orientation. Okay. Of it. And uh, the length of the... Here you can see it better. The length of the arrow means uh, how big it is, how fast it is. Oh, direction and how fast. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty good. Is it real? I mean, is it in the car? It will be in some car soon. And so it will be... Uh, improved by software updates or how does it work like you could add all kinds of uh, new yeah. algorithms and stuff that's what the auto rem are planning to do like to do real-time updates on that um, what else yeah. can it do this chip is doing just that no it can this this application is really simple like the people yeah. are actually using it they do all the image recognition that you need to do for self-driving cars so you need to recognize pedestrian too you need to recognize uh, the traffic sign, you need to recognize where you're going, the line also. So there's no need for an Intel CPU in the car to do self-driving, you just do everything on the NXP? Yes. Everything? <laughs> yeah. Really? <laughs> so uh, you can do LiDAR detectors in the back and the front, you can have several cameras. How many cameras you can support at the same time? You can do you can do a lot of camera adapting the frame rate. Uh, the idea is to be able to do four camera for like a surround view um, version of it. And if you need a lot of power, then we, our idea is to couple this chip with the uh, other ARM-based chip, uh, the Layerscape, a digital networking part. So y um. you don't need more like uh, some of the high-end uh, A72, A73 cores to do this kind of stuff? If, if you, we don't know, the customer will decide. Uh, if they need more, we have more. And they you will have more? So we you have, have the high end, also, the even more. That would be our networking part that we are we are adapting for the auto market. Okay. That will be the blue box and all that. What are you showing on this side? Is this the same uh, same booth? That's not. No. So ah, that's something else. Okay. Right there. So there we have it. Arm Cortex A53 quad core.